So to simplify this problem, we know that we can start with the c because it has an exponent that's being multiplied by another exponent. So let's take care of that first. Doing so will give us a times b to the negative fifth power times c to the negative eighth power over c times a to the negative second power. So now we look for like bases. We have two a's and two c's. So we can subtract their exponents from the numerator to the denominator, which will give us a to the power of 1 minus negative 2 times b to the negative fifth power times c to the power of negative 8 minus 1. Simplifying that will give us a to the third power times b to the negative fifth power times c to the negative ninth power. And we know that we can flip the bases and exponents that are negative. So that will give us our final solution of a cubed over b to the fifth times c to the ninth.